don't know if you can see me because I'm like in a shady kind of area, but I'm not. Well, you're sitting there, I'm sitting here to your drive with me. So I'm gonna get some coffee bean, but this is what I wrote down. When you live in a comfortable place with your friends or family or with your parents, but you have to, you kind of have to to leave that little boat and grow. You have to, be, you know, be your own person. And I don't think you'd be your own person if you just keep staying home with mommy. A lot of people that stay home because it's easier. But the problem with being stuck with easier is that you don't grow. And in this life, if you want to have kids or you want your kids to grow or what have you, you're gonna have to do shit you don't want to do, and you have to pay for it. That's how you fucking get it out. You have to pay for stuff you don't want to pay for. So I came over here to get some funyuns because I love funyuns, right? I right, look at the motherfucking price. Five fucking dollars? Like for real? Five dollars. I used to pay like 288 or some shit. For fucking chips? I'm good. And that's fucking rent and all the other shit that comes with. Now, living with parents or someone to help you pay bills is great. But you're not gonna grow. If you stay home with your parents and you, you pay zero rent or you pay a couple hundred bucks, it's not gonna teach you how to be an adult. The real world is way more fucked up. Cause I have thirty thousand dollars in credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet. Credit card debt. Tomorrow, I may buy myself a dining room set or this Boba Fett. And unfortunately, you have to fucking pay the bill. Let me, let me order something over here. Thank you for choosing coffee. Thank you for Hi, can I get an ice blend and hazelnut, please? Yeah, with ice? Uh, regular is fine. I'll Glenn and Kelly, go to Coffee Bean. It tastes really good. Uh, we have already Yeah. No receipt. Can I get some napkins, please? I'm not like a napkin guy, but thank you so much. I'm not like a napkin person, but then again, I am. Thank you so much. Anyways, they always fuck up my shit. I mean, I guess half of it has to do with the fact that I, I make my own fucking menu, <laughs> to be honest. All right, we're gonna head to Costco. I hate Alhambra Costco, but it's the closest one. It's getting late, so why the fuck not? All right. So the thing with me is when I, go to, when I go to restaurants or like, I guess coffee bean or like Starbucks, I always, I mean, the menu's fine. It's standard menu. I'm not trying to be a dicker of me think, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah, I got you. Anywhere I end up, Texas, New York, San Francisco, San Diego, wherever the fuck I end up, I just, I have to move on from my family. For me, you know, if you don't fucking do it, you're not gonna grow into being whoever the fuck you wanna be. You're just gonna be the same person that lives with your parents and you're not gonna figure it out. Trust me, paying rent sucks. It fucking sucks. I, I'll be fine. And people tell me, why don't you get roommates? You know why I don't get fucking roommates? Because I don't wanna deal with no one's shit. What makes you think I wanna deal with a new person's shit? Even if I live with four different girls, I do not wanna deal with their shit. And I have to hear someone playing fucking music loud because they feel like they had a rough day. Or the girl brings a dude over and they're fucking in the room. Like, that's great, she's getting laid. Terrific. I wanna hear this shit. clean fucking house. And if I gotta do that shit myself, I still run my business here, all, all my connections are here. But you know what the problem is with that? I won't grow. And I wanna be legit, like, let the fuck alone. I don't wanna hear no one's problems. I don't I don't need to be dealing with no one's bullshit. I don't have to ask them for nothing, and I never do. But like, my mom don't even know half the shit I do. Like, 80% of the shit I do, she has no idea. You know, unless you're my girlfriend or, or we're dating, there's no reason you should know my business. I, I personally want my own space. I wanna be able to record whatever the fuck I want, whatever I want. And I can't do that where I'm at. I have to fucking stop, record in my car. If I got an idea and I feel a certain way, I wanna get it out. I wanna share that shit right now. And that's the main thing here. Yo. So whenever you see me drive a Beamer, a Ferrari, a Range Rover, a Civic that's hooked up, that's because it's mine. I worked hard for that shit. You know, that's just the truth. And if you see my house or whatever you see me have, an expensive camera, I worked hard to buy these things. It was not easy. I do it because it makes me happy. You gotta realize what's important. Staying home, buying whatever the hell you want, paying like $600, $700 of rent, all cheaper than two grand. You deal with the bullshit, you, you can't sleep, you have to hear all the noise outside that you deal with your family, it never fucking ends. Now imagine if you just take yourself out of the situation and you drop yourself and you have to pay two grand a month, right? Yeah, you probably won't be able to party as much and go out and buy whatever the fuck you want. However, your fucking mental health is more important, you got peace of mind. You come home and you feel like playing guitar like I do, you put the motherfucker on and you rip it up. You feel like just relaxing or maybe playing a video game, you don't have to hear anyone's bullshit. You can just play your game, play side. Jack Dawes, Jazz 3 in the back. This one actually is fucking great for like... You don't want to just order a pizza. If you do want to cook, you don't want to hear someone tell you, hey, 
But this, like, bitch, I fucking know. I know very well what I do, because I'm pretty damn intelligent. I, I'm very aware of what's happening. Granted, I have my days, but more or less of the time when I'm like in the zone, yeah, I'm gonna forget to fucking this, because I'm working. I'm dealing with the client, or I'm on the phone, or I'm literally working. You guys understand what I'm saying? In order for you to grow, you have to leave your environment. I, I hope you guys really understand what I'm saying, because it's very important. And I share that because I'm in a situation. If I have to live below my means, and I barely go out, but I have my own house, whatever, and everything's paid off, and I, I afford my bills. Shit, guys, you really fucking. Okay, we're back. We're back. You good? Fuck. There you go. If I can afford my bills, then that's all that matters. I don't. I don't care about anything else. As long as I have food in my belly, you know, a hot meal, and then I have all my bills paid off, and I'm I'm mentally happy. Then then what the fuck? I don't need to deal with anything else. I I'm okay. I don't. You know, if I meet another, another girl, or if I start dating, and she becomes part of my world, well, you know, I hope to God she she accommodates well to my world because I don't want distractions or, or problems in my in my in a place of refuge. This is my place where I come to relax. You know, it's supposed to be that way. I don't know if everybody forgot, but your house is supposed to be like your safe zone. You know, we're supposed to relax and chill out and gather your thoughts. And honestly, I honestly believe that because of my family. There's too many distractions. My phone already rings enough. So if you add my family to constantly fucking ask me questions about whatever the fuck, I, I don't have time. And I, I forget about what I'm supposed to be doing. And that's not good because I got shit to fucking do. So in my mind, I'd rather struggle it out, you know, barely pay the rent, you know, but I'm healthy. I have internet. I don't really need i don't even i don't really need like cable i don't really watch cable i mean it's, it's cool to have but it's not important i literally fucking stream everything like everybody else so what's the point and majority of the shit i watch the fucking reruns you know like boy meets world and stuff like that so and and like what else the fuck oh fresh prince of bel-air or anything funny that's sarcastic i pretty much bought that and the challenge oh I, i'm a big fan of the challenge like i can watch that shit all day so for me like entertainment wise i'm chilling and movies i always go to the movie theater so well, what's that, 25 bucks? Like, I can afford that, even if I pay two grand a month, which I already do. It's more important that you put yourself in a position that is difficult or scary or that you feel fearful about so you can grow. Because if you don't fucking do it, you're gonna stay in the same fucking bill for five fucking years. You don't want that shit. I know I don't want that shit. Fuck that. Every single fucking year, I changed. Ever since I was with my ex and after my ex, every single year I was doing something fucking brand new and it was always crazy and I love my life. But at one point, it was really hard to get here man people think my life's so fucking perfect and shit well guess what i put in about 13 or 14 fucking years of fucking hell to get to this shitty point so yeah the only way is up fuck everything else i don't care about anything else I care about myself my health my mental health my well-being shit i don't have time for shit anymore man i have too much stuff going on and i have to invest my money I don't have time. So that's why people like, like these pretty girls that I, I had a date one. She was so fucking gorgeous. And she just, I couldn't relate to her. She just wasn't in the same boat. And and that's sad, you know, like when you see someone like you're physically or tight, but mentally they're not there, it happens. And you have to just be like, you know what? It's not going to happen. And I'm not going to force that shit. No, fuck that. I'm good. Like I'm not, I'm not here to waste my time because you look pretty. I don't, I don't give a fuck about that. I mean, if you look pretty and you mentally are in the same boat as me, we're going to, we're going to have a great relationship. I'm gonna love you so much and like you're gonna like love me back forever but until that happens like I'm really picky um I have a certain style but it, it's more like it's not even about where I'm at in my life it's not even about that and it's not even about age range it's just the simple fact that like only a certain amount of people or girls know how to handle me to be honest and I know I could be a lot like I have a lot of fucking energy for my age I'm 35 but I'm healthy I go to the fucking gym but at the end of the day I'm full of energy I don't even drink coffee I, and this is the most coffee I'll get is the fucking hazelnut which is really fucking good and it's melting oh my god so I wish you guys could try it it's so good for me I traveled the world a little bit I definitely learned some stuff I've, I've gone alone I've gone with friends I've gone with family I've gone with girlfriends shit there you go again come back Fucking so I've gone with family and stuff and I definitely learn a lot from from all of it. and I'm very blessed that I got to enjoy my life the way I do because not a lot of people get to travel like like I have very very blessed my whole family's never traveled like the way I have uh, so very grateful for the people I've had in my life so Oh my god, that girl's gorgeous. And I mean gorgeous. Where'd she go? Sorry. She was truly fucking pretty. You know, it sucks because like you're never really ready 
as humans, you just want whatever makes you happy to stick around forever. That's not the case, you know? I hope you guys enjoyed this ride with me. Talking about real shit like always. You relate to my shit. I'm fucking happy somebody does. Because life is just a fucking crazy mess. Life can be a good thing, you know? Everyone goes through their own stuff. Everybody has their own story. People stare at me because I talk to myself or talk to you. It just makes me happy. Legit. Recording and driving. Let me tell you one more thing before I, before I cut the video. I believe that I don't need anybody in my fucking life to be happy. I, I like being left the fuck alone. Now, being left the fuck alone and being alone are two different things. Because people don't understand the difference. I have moments where I love being an introvert. Leave me the fuck alone. I do not care. I can block the fucking, oh, there's a fucking COVID going on. That happened? I was in my fucking room the whole time. You know, oh, whatever. I was in the living room just doing my shit. <laughs> like, I don't, that happened? And I, I can legit block anybody out when I'm in, in the zone with whatever the fuck I'm doing. But being forced to be alone on someone else's terms is another. It fucks with you. Because if you go into a relationship and you're in love, you have problems and you break up. But you didn't break up because it was a mutual decision. You break up because someone cheats or they're, they're selfish and they want to leave. You're just there left blindsided. You have no clue what's going on and you have to pick up the pieces that you're not ready to pick up. And that being alone is a way different way. Now, if you're alone and you want to be left the fuck alone and you you know, you don't want to be with anybody, that's that's your decision, that's different. But when you're being forced to be alone and, and you're not ready for it, it really fucks with you. And I think unless you go through that, you really won't know how hard it is. And I think people need to understand, and maybe learn your lesson or your karma, whatever the fuck it is, because my friend definitely got his karma, to figure out that don't you shouldn't do that because as selfish as everybody is but uh i would rather laugh about it you know if, if it's real shit if it's a real conversation let's talk about it fuck it but when it comes to relationships you're in a long-term relationship with somebody and then they they literally cheat on you or they cut you or they disappear or they, they leave town whatever the fuck happened you're just there and you're being forced to be alone it's, it's definitely a different mindset i'm okay being alone now, it doesn't mean I want to be alone. It just means I'm okay being alone. That, that means I don't need nobody. But it'd be nice to have somebody. There's a difference. Now, I can go, you know, another month, two months, you know, single and not care. Because I have so much shit going on. And, you know, girlfriend, no girlfriend. I realized, like, I gotta do these things for me. And sometimes, in a deep relationship, especially a toxic one. You lose sight of that. Well, sometimes you're lucky enough where with the relationship with your partner, you have the ability to fix it. You have the ability to sit down and talk about it and figure out how to fix the, the mistakes or the problems that are happening so you can move forward. I think that's important. And that's what I had. It was great. We definitely built a, 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 a solid foundation where people were saying, I want to be like you and your girl. That's fucking awesome. That's crazy. Because I feel like we're still like learning. But at the end of the day, if you have a partner who doesn't want to be with you and you're trying to build this life, that is hard. No one's ready for that shit. So the way I see it, to cap off the whole fucking video of fucking minutes, like, I think people need to just be honest sometimes. Even though it hurts, you know, I, I know, I know I went through it myself because I understood what's important to me, which is like self-care. Like I need to take care of myself. I can't jump into another relationship after a seven year relationship. That's not gonna be healthy for me. I, I don't need that. And only other person that could fix my seven year relationship would be my ex because she was the one that I was with. So why would I want to take my problems or, or unresolved issues from my previous ex that we never resolved into a new new relationship that doesn't make sense so for me i decided to not and i've been okay you know i really have have i found another girl a lot of girls out there um i did date and i'm very 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 picky <laughs> i don't have time the way life is the right person will be in my life if it's that girl that wanted to be with me she'll come back around and if she doesn't it's okay think about timing it wasn't the right time want to be friends we'll be friends i'm an adult i'm not a child so i could be friends with with previous relationships and not have feelings. I think it, it depends. If you have feelings for somebody, it's because they meant a lot to you. Now, you could have feelings for someone that you were with for 10 years. Trust me, my friend was with his girl for 10 years, okay? I asked him, he's like, I will always love that girl. I'm like, dude, I'm with you. I will always love my ex. Like, no matter what, like, we went through something special. Now, do I know who she is now? I have no idea, you know? I've changed, I'm still a fucking asshole, but I'm definitely more cutthroat. I care less. I'm more involved in things that are more important to me. And that's the dynamic that I, I think people are going to deal with when you start dating. It's not even about like me being single and me breaking up with my ex and then the other girl I want to be with. None of that. It's the fact that, that I personally have decided on what's important to me and what's not anymore, and what I will deal with and what I will not fucking deal with. Because it's not that I'm trying to make a line in the sand. It's just that I don't want to waste any more time on, on petty shit. I think I, I spent enough time doing that. And if someone in my past were to come back around, 
down, I definitely would be friends with him first, but uh, I would take it slow, you know? I don't know if anybody needs to hear that or figure that out, but it's important to know this. Social media isn't real. It's not. This is real. This is a real conversation. This is real fucking thoughts about a person that I went through some real shit. This is legit, 100%. So this the, this advice is, is straight from my heart. The, th the way I see it is I treat people the way, the way I want to be treated. So I would never, even if we had a falling out, I, I would still be cool. It doesn't mean I'm, I'm in love with you. It just means that I'd be cool and I can have a conversation about whatever. That is adulting. That is growing. And coming from where I went, <laughs> I definitely grew from that. So that's the end of the video, guys, because I could talk all day. Later.